there is a lot of videos in a content creator's life that they want to make, but there's 10 that I would call the most important. Uh, birth of a child, getting married, getting separated. But the number one piece of content nobody wants to make is what this video is, and that's about death. Not, not anything on my side about me, but me and Jason. And I don't even know how I'm going to edit this video. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, but if you are seeing this, I don't know what channel you're going to see it on, but I do know if I end up posting it, it's going to be on all of my channels. Uh, this is the most important video I will ever, ever make. More than any milestone, more than any money. This is the most important video I have to make, but I never wanted to make. And... The, the title is not clickbait. The title is exactly what it is. It's December 11th, 2023, as I'm recording this. And on November 28th, 2023, at 4.26 p.m., we, we, lo we lost Mama Rex. My sister called me to her house. She said, hey, Mom's not looking too good at around 11 a.m., and I went over there, we called EMS, they did their standard checks. Mom was on the floor complaining of pain in her neck and her leg, then to her arm, which, you know, uh, automatically makes anyone assume heart attack. And when they got her to the ER, uh, her, her condition took a turn for the worst. I don't want to get into details of it. Mainly because one, this isn't that kind of video. Two, I have to, I have to see. It. I was there from start to finish, and even just having to relive it in my in my mind is is really hard. Even though it's been almost two weeks, I just it, it still it still kills me to have to like give this kind of content. Uh, well, kind of video, whatever. Uh, but to anyone who's ever like watch the live streams, watch the videos on the YouTube channel. Anyone who's ever talked to me knows my mom was my whole world. I guided all of my decisions based around her. I, everything I did education-wise, career-wise was done around her and for her. We had just turned uh, a, we had just made a big financial turn in our family for the positive where everything was looking on the up and to have this come down was it it's surreal still two weeks later I I wake up every day and I used to talk to my mom three four times a day I would call her in the morning in the afternoon in the evening just see how she is and just make sure that she's doing okay. And over the years, like, you know, she had slowed down. My mom was 76. She had slowed down a little bit, but she was so fiercely independent right to the end. She was fiercely, fiercely independent. Uh... <sighs> Just knowing that she's gone, knowing that I can't call her again, it's it's awful. <sighs> Luckily, I will say this, when I let the main people know who mom had known or mom, mom had like, mom had interacted with or they knew about mom, my friends, uh, our family, they rallied behind my sister and I so much. Our religious community, they were beyond phenomenal. Absolutely beyond. Not not hollow praise at all. Mom passed away on Tuesday. This burial committee for our for our religious community, they managed to ship, like pick up my mom's my mom's body, prep it, get it ready for burial on Thursday afternoon. There was a 45 hour ish gap between the time mom passed away and the time the last shovel of dirt was put on. 
they were phenomenal. And having done it in such short order, it it helped my sister and I with a little bit of the healing because the alternative option was to go for Saturday. And I think my sister and I having to have waited that long would have really, really killed us. It would have really been hard. So they really have been there to help us see a lot of things through. One thing I will be saying right now is dying in 2023 seems so much more complicated than dying in 30 years ago. The amount of logistics we have had to deal with from from the moment we entered the room to see mom, the moment we entered, we've been dealing with logistics since then. It has been two weeks. It is crazy how you cannot get a moment's peace. I, I held off making this video for so long because I thought I wanted to grieve, obviously, for my mom. But we haven't had time. Like, you have... The moments of, of tears and missing and, and sadness. But you can't process it all because you're on calls with lawyers and credit cards and banks. And it's just so complicated now. But the main reason I wanted to make this video was to kind of give my mom the send off that she deserved. She dedicated her life to her daycare, to raising children, to raising her own kids. She dedicated her life to that. And we, we tried our best. We really did. My sister and I were there the whole time. We never left her side. Even when they went us in the room, we were still, we were only a few feet away. We were never far away. We tried our very best to help our mom and give her the best life she could. And we, we are going to miss her so much. And I wanted the community to know too, because like I said, anyone who ever knew me knew how much my mom meant. And she meant a lot to a lot of people. We got calls shockingly from all over the world. We had no idea our mom was known by this many people but she was and I'm very lucky to have Rio here keeping me by my side just doing his own little doggy thing man he's just he's just doing his thing and I couldn't make this video without without someone like Rio here I needed somebody to to just be here I didn't want to do this video alone but yeah there you guys go man Mama Rex is gone we're gonna miss her a lot. <sighs> I just want my mom back. <sighs> what are you doing?